Welcome back to World Celebrity Island, your one-stop destination for everything you need to know about the biggest names in entertainment. Today, we're diving deep into the life and career of one of the most innovative and influential artists of our time, Andre 3000. Whether you know him as one half of the iconic duo Outkast or as a groundbreaking solo artist, Andre 3000 has redefined the boundaries of hip-hop and music as a whole. From his early beginnings in Atlanta to his genre-defying contributions to music and fashion, we're covering it all. So, get comfortable, because this is a journey you won't want to miss. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest celebrity features. And if you're already part of the World Celebrity Island family, welcome back. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, and share it with your friends who are just as obsessed with pop culture as you are. Early Life Andre Lauren Benjamin, Andre 3000, was born in Atlanta, Georgia, on May 27, 1975. Andre was raised by single mother Sharon Benjamin Hodo, a real estate agent. He was creative and independent. His music was shaped by Southern culture, which he experienced at East Point, Georgia. Andre loved music and fashion as a child, expressing himself through unusual attire and a variety of musical genres. He met outcast member Antoine, Big Boy, Patton at Tri-Cities High School, one of numerous Atlanta institutions he attended. Career and Biography After forming Outkast with Big Boy in the early 1990s, Andre 3000 and Big Boy revolutionized the music industry. Their 1994 debut album, Southern Playlist Cadillac Music, was a critical and financial triumph, establishing them as Southern hip-hop pioneers. The duo's future was determined by the album's unique blend of funk, jazz, and Southern vernacular. The Outkast album's A.T. Leans, 1996, and Equemini, 1998, saw Andre 3000's style and wordplay maturing. Andre 3000 explored spirituality, identity, and Southern living in these albums, which were lauded for their inventive sound and thoughtful lyrics. He experimented with diverse sounds and styles to set Outkast apart in the 1990s hip-hop industry. Outkast's 2000 album Stankonia cemented their standing as an innovative and influential band. The duo won a Grammy for Best Rap Performance by a duo or group for Ms. Jackson, the album's main track. Andre 3000 started mixing funk, rock, and electronic music into his music and art around this period. Outkast's 2003 double album Speakerbox, the love below featured Big Boy and Andre 3000's distinct talents. Andre's portion of the record, The Love Below, blended R&B, jazz, and pop. The album won the 2004 Grammy for Album of the Year, and Hey Ya, its lead single, became a decade classic. Andre 3000 focused on other projects after Speakerbox, The Love Below's breakthrough. He acted in Be Cool, 2005, Idlewild, 2006, and Semi-Pro, 2008. The 2008 introduction of Benjamin Bixby, his clothing line, showcased his unorthodox flair and passion for fashion. Andre 3000 was respected and prominent in hip-hop after retiring. He continued to guest on other artists' songs, often providing lyrics that reminded listeners of his lyrical talents. Outkast reunited for a series of live performances in 2014 to celebrate their 20th anniversary and showcase their innovative music. Andre 3000 actively supports poor communities and arts education in addition to his work with Outkast and solo projects. His influence goes beyond music as a cultural icon who challenges entertainment industry and social norms. Though Andre 3000 has been quiet lately, his influence on music and culture is unmistakable. His groundbreaking originality and commitment to grow as an artist are lauded alongside his hip-hop achievements. Andre 3000's music, design, and acting have shaped the globe, inspiring new artists. Net Worth Andre 3000's 2024 net worth is projected at $45 million. He became wealthy through successful careers in music, acting, fashion, and business. Andre 3000 became famous as half of Outkast with Big Boy. Stankonia and Speakerbox, The Love Below, the duo's revolutionary albums, became multi-platinum due to sales, streaming, and extensive tours. Endorsements and clothing sales boosted Outkast's revenue, helping Andre's finances. 
Andre 3000 also acted in films and TV series to supplement his music career. His parts in Be Cool, Idlewild, and Semi Pro established his multi talented stature and increased his profits. Andre 3000's Benjamin Bixby apparel brand also helped him earn fortune. The line was short lived but showed his own style and ingenuity, expanding his brand relationship. Andre 3000 has kept his personal life quiet, yet his family and relationships have been highlighted. His connection with Erica Badu was famous. The two started dating in the mid-1990s and became one of the most famous music couples. Their brief romance inspired and supported each other's creative endeavors. Andre 3000 and Erica Badu had seven serious Benjamin in 1997. Andre often talks about how fatherhood altered his life and music. Seven has inherited his parents' artistic talents but has kept a low profile as an adult. Andre and Erica have kept their son's existence hidden so he can grow up quietly. Andre 3000 and Erica Badu split, yet they get along and co-parent their kid. Although not romantically involved, they have shown respect for one another in interviews and public appearances. Andre 3000's romantic life has been primarily private since his romance with Badu. Despite being linked to several women, he has never acknowledged any long-term partnerships. His job, son, and personal growth have been his priorities. Andre 3000 has considered his kid one of his most significant relationships, discussing the trials and joys of fatherhood. He has always tried to be a good father to Seven despite his work. While Andre 3000's personal life is mostly secret, his relationship with Erica Badu and their son Seven Sirius Benjamin is notable. Andre prioritizes family and co-parenting, which shows in their respect and dedication. House and Mansions Andre Benjamin, known as Andre 3000, has made major real estate movements recently. He bought a Venice, California home for $3.6 million in 2020. He bought an exclusive, desirable estate that had never been posted for sale. The 2,417-square-foot home has four bedrooms and four bathrooms. A 5,280-square-foot second building on the land has living quarters above and a two-car garage on the first floor. An unassuming passageway and black metal gates hide this hidden construction. This mansion puts Andre among other celebrities in Venice, improving his seclusion and placing him in a thriving cultural environment. Celebrity neighbors like Margot Robbie and Lil Dicky make living here appealing. Previous homes Andre lived mostly in Atlanta, Georgia, before moving to Venice. He was famous as part of Outcast with Big Boy and has significant ties in Atlanta. His past houses are less well documented than his current one, but Atlanta shaped his personal life and work. Andre has sought creative and reflective spaces throughout his life. He moved to New York City before settling in Venice to seek change following his parents' deaths and revive his creative spirit. Reflections on Life Andre appreciates solitude and artistic expression in his lifestyle. His homes are creative spaces where he can make music and design clothes. His diverse mix of comfort and artistic flair often informs his living room design. In conclusion, Andre 3000's real estate journey combines luxurious living with personal growth and artistic inquiry. His Venice home is a monument to his accomplishment and allows him to grow as an artist. Car Collections Andre 3000 Automotive Affinity Overview Andre 3000, born Andre Lauren Benjamin, is noted for his unique taste in cars and his groundbreaking hip-hop talents as part of Outkast. The elegance, style, and distinctiveness of his automotive collection represent his artistic personality. Andre 3000 owns notable cars. Porsche Carrera The Porsche Carrera is a hallmark of Andre 3000. The reports about his car preferences mention that this car matches his refined taste. Someone who appreciates style should consider the Porsche Carrera, known for its performance and beautiful design. Vintage Cars Andre enjoys classic cars, but discussing his collection rarely reveals specific models. His painting reflects nostalgia and timelessness, like vintage cars. Brands of Luxury Andre has been associated with other luxury brands besides Porsche. His love of fancy cars matches his standing as a music business star, where luxury cars symbolize success. Eco-friendly options Although rarely acknowledged, Andre may also like eco-friendly cars like hybrids, demonstrating a modern sustainability sensibility. Cultural impact of his car collection 
Andre 3000 uses his cars to express his identity and creativity. His automobiles appear in music videos and public events, creating a visual story around his music and business. His automobile collection follows a trend among hip-hop musicians who utilize their cars to symbolize money, prestige, and elegance. This link between hip-hop culture and car luxury shows how Andre 3000 shapes both industries. In conclusion, Andre 3000 has a refined taste that includes expensive sports automobiles like the Porsche Carrera, antique models, and possibly eco-friendly possibilities. Thanks for sticking with us to the end of this deep dive into the fascinating world of Andre 3000. His impact on music and culture is undeniable, and we're thrilled to have shared his story with you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to show some love by hitting the like button. Every thumbs up helps us bring you more of the content you love. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. Let's spread the word about the legend that is Andre 3000. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment down below. What's your favorite Andre 3000 moment or song? Or maybe you've got a suggestion for who we should feature next on World Celebrity Island. Whatever it is, we're all ears. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to World Celebrity Island and join our growing community of celebrity enthusiasts. Until next time, keep exploring the lives of the stars with us, where every story shines brighter.